Hi guys, in this video I'm going to go over my setup for taking high-speed microscopic video of a phonograph stylus. I'll just give you a quick demo of the shots I've gotten so far today. Those were some pretty cool shots, weren't they? I've only ever seen shots like this in one place before. Those were done by the Applied Science Channel, where uh, Ben put uh, a phonograph record inside an electron microscope and slowly moved the stylus across, taking many uh, uh, captures of this, then edited them into a video. But in this case, we actually get to see it in, uh, in a real situation. Getting these shots was not at all easy. It took me pretty much the entire day to get this set up and uh, getting good shots like this. Uh, the two main challenges were uh, number one, light, and number two, how to mount the camera so that you can aim it and then adjust focus. I tried many setups for different lighting, uh, including this uh, LED flashlight, which is very bright, but is still nowhere near the intensity we need for this. I like to say you need three things for good high-speed video. Light, more light, and even more light. And for microscope lenses, it's even worse because uh, the aperture is very, very small. So in this case, we need some insane amount of light, something on the order of 10 times noon sunlight. Oh, hey, Trixie. But yeah, yeah I went through, the, went through this with uh, trying this. I tried uh, this flashlight, which was even worse. I tried illuminating it with a red laser, which actually worked in terms of brightness, but it caused uh, major speckling problems on the image, because if you notice, when you look at a laser, it's, uh, it causes some sort of a speckling due to the monochromatic light, so that didn't work. And then I found this uh, Xenon short arc lamp I had sitting around from, uh, it was given to me uh, from my old uh, work. This is basically this, it's a 175 watt Ceramac style Xenon short arc lamp, uh, along with a power supply. Uh, this produces a very nice collimated beam that is extremely intense and actually provides enough light uh, to get good shots with this up to about 10,000 frames per second or so. Um, this huge amount of light obviously causes some problems. I've had to shield the stylus and the record player base with foil to avoid melting them. Because when I first turned this on, within a few seconds the stylus started smoking from the extreme light intensity. Also, you can't... Uh, the record has to be continuously spinning to avoid distorting it and causing a large bump to occur. Uh, it seems to be able to run pretty well continuously once it's spinning, which is good, though. The camera is just mounted on a pretty standard tripod head, but on the tripod head I've got a micrometer platform. This allows extremely fine adjustment of the camera focus, because the distance the camera has to be forward and back from the subject has to be within well within 0.1 millimeter to get proper focus with this microscope lens. And the lens I have, I just got this off of AliExpress, it's a 4x microscope lens and it's on the end of uh, about 10 centimeters worth of uh, extension rings to get the distance to from the lens to the sensor uh, to the correct value. For mounting the light source I found one of these um, machinists uh, dial indicator mounts. Normally you mount one of uh, one of these things on the edge and uh, use it to hold it on your uh, machining setup but this works perfectly for allowing you to sort of put the light wherever you want and get it aimed correctly. 
that I found if light comes in from too high an angle, it just gets blocked by the needle. So yeah, getting the, getting the angle was quite a lot of work. And then the other problem was stray light, because the light would bounce off of all the aluminum foil, get into the lens, and that would completely wash out the image. And to solve that, I had to put cut some black paper, roll it into a roll, and stick it inside this tube to prevent the reflections from reflecting off the inside of the tube and onto the image sensor. Taking shots on this is somewhat difficult because the uh, focus is so critical. The, the object has to be within about 0.1 or 0.2 millimeters of the focal point, uh, and the record is far from flat, so basically I just have to set focus, and when it's, say, at the top of its uh, of the bump, it'll be in focus, and then we get a good shot, and that's plenty, uh, it's more than enough time to get uh, uh, a decent high-speed shot. Anyway, hope you found this video on record player stylus slow-mo interesting. Thanks for watching!